Oh, oh, right, energized. Uh, the chanter fills her uh, fills herself him, him or herself with frantic energy, gaining the energized inspiration, which is a uh, attacks interrupt on crit. Which, oh, basically, it's a plus five, my plus two pen. There's this. 12% of damage dealt returned as healing. You know what? I think I'll take this for this area because uh, this is most likely going to end up being pretty useless. We'll see. Oh, right. Chody. Um, I mean, I might as well do this one, boom, because she does summon a lot. There we go. This where Gon stormed through? At least the docks are still intact. These prisoners were the tatters of sailors. Ooh. Oh, I didn't notice this guy. Oh, jeez. I did not notice who that, that guy was there. Uh, though ashen, the skin of this dead giant remains hot to the touch. Oh, yeah, speaking of which. Dude. Ah, here it is. Lumped against the stones of the bridge, a giant clutches at his uh, bashed in chest. It's a mess of sinew and blackened iron bones, fiery blood flickering between his splayed fingers, uh, thickly mm, rasping a breath. The warrior lifts his heated gaze to your face. Extinguished or crushed, us all, defiler. Uh, what happened to you? Damned reaper of souls and god of lies. Margaret's most foul enemy. Uh, I need to get the aid. Servants of the defiler god. Damn you. Phew. I drink this and rest easy. His eye, uh, his, he closes his ember, uh, ember hot eyes, a relieved sigh rushing from his chest as you brew up and then tip a vial of poison to his lips. The icy, uh, slushy mixture takes effect immediately, dousing his flames with a sweep of hoar frost through his veins. It leaves his face cold and ashen and dead. God, I didn't like that. That was worth doing, even if we got nothing in return. Chody swings her lantern back and forth over the warrior's uh, body until a large shimmering cloud of essence sifts up and into her lantern. She grunts, the lantern dipping in her hand as if heavier uh, momentarily. And that was benevol uh, benevolent. Mm -hmm. Good thing I don't craft stuff very often. <laughs> Oh god, I never went and got Vithrak Brain, so... so quiet. How many has Aethas killed passing through here? That's a good question. At once. I could do this in my... That's how it's done. Kith trespasses in the goddesses more, but how? Well, he was suffering, 
In incense, the giant warrior, oh, warrior hulks, her thick muscles twitch, red marks glowing hotly against her ashen skin. You must seek to follow in your defiler god's footsteps. You will not, for I will smite you where you stand. Hmm, but a second giant slams the haft of his iron staff into the warrior's hard muscle's stomach, abruptly halting her attack. Hold, Sega! I would speak to this filthy minion of the wretched god Aethus before you char his bones to dust. I am no friend of Aethus. He stole a piece of my soul, and I mean to get it back. Ha! Huh. You think to confront an embodied god? Then you are either powerful beyond comprehension, or as much a fool. Yet you imply you do not serve him. Uh, the first giant's grip turns white knuckled on the hilt of her sword, her muscles strained, and the melt and the metal quivers in her hand. Rakir, move! We cannot allow these intruders to live. Nice! Aethus has co consumed your warrior's very souls. But I've faced him before, and I'm still standing. The shoulders taut with tension. The warrior's eyes, uh, the strewn corpses of his fellow uh, Ruthen at arms. They lie, they lie dried like husks, the siphon of their souls. He places a hand out to hold the warrior back. He studies you intently. You would face us in battle rather than flee. I like your metal. Kith who does not cower before Markran's greatest warriors. We have not yet defeated the embodied god, but that does not mean we won't. The Jotagir is readying another assault from within the Jagged Keep as we speak. I will permit you to stamper closer to God's face, if you believe you can survive. Scurry deeper into the moor, but know that my brethren may squash you. I worry Mogram plans to interrupt this volcano. If I stay, you'll die. He hefts his meaty shoulders in a heavy shrug. Our duty is foremost to Mark. We guard the more to its fiery end. You plan to attack Aethus? First, we recover the wounded and their weapons, drag them into the jagged keep, and then we will kill a god. How can I reach Aethus? All who neared the intruder god were gutted until extinguished. You think your soul could last even half so long as Rathoon's? Maybe the kiffs will last longer. Only Margren's shrine with our jacket keep can lead you to the Defiler God. Kith, if Margren wishes you to face him, surely she will fire the way. I'll be with the bodies, but this time gentle your grip. It can't be helped, Rakir. These fallen are brittle. Okay. Well. I suppose there's that. We don't need to fight everybody. Reckon this is what happens when you try to keep a god from enacting his plans. I could do this. That's how it's done. Oh, oh God. what was that? What did I gain? Probably just like another, um, yep, just another I mean, that was pretty good, but... Okay, so... What am I supposed to do? Mm, speaking of the Ruthen's uh, warlord, uh, the Bathor, within his jagged keep may uh, uh, may gain me a route to meet with Aethys. Within his jagged keep. Hmm. 
Should we be concerned about that? Ain't the volcanoes in Mogren's teeth supposed to be inactive? I got a bad feeling this one's waking up. Yeah. I'll see to it. Um agreed. <laughs> Completely agreed. Oh, by the way. How much better is that hat compared to mine? Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, plus 10% action speed with daggers. This one's 10% hit uh, to crit chance and 10% crit damage with daggers, rapiers. Ooh. Ooh. I like the additional perception and I kind of like the action speed over here. I kind of like that the 10% the hit to crit chance. But I really like the 10% crit damage with daggers because I think if I remember correctly with a stagger. No, not you. Burn the soul. Let's burn damage AoE on hit with... Ah! Okay. Didn't you have something? No. You? Oh, God. You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. For me. Oh, you're too kind. Did Aethys do this? Looks like trouble. Here we go. Oh, hi, friends. Do 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 do. Compliments of the queen. Oh my god! Like the only person who actually took any damage from that was Alog. I mean, everybody's taking damage. We're, we're just like regaining that health. God, we got a lot of health regen. Oh, and I just remembered, he still has this. He still has fireside bed. <laughs> oh, God. Apparently, I don't rest very often, and that ends anymore. Let's get started. Just like that. <laughs> Okay. But they're enfeebled by frost. God, Alon. Go, buddy. I prefer something with a little no more. 
trouble at all. Stabbing. felt more serious. This does not sound good. Faith is a right foul stench. This place smells and feels like hell in the stories Uncle Anger used to tell me to make me behave as a child. Hold on. Uh, I'm close to Aethys, but I can see no clear route to the outer pillar in the center of the mall. I'll search the Ruthen's fortress, the Jagged Keep. A violent tremors are shaking the foundation of the mall. The volcano is growing increasingly more active. All right. Uh, you are a great champion, Goliath among giants. Your chest tight with pride, and now something darker, a strange dread. It flickers inside you like the fires of a waking forge because you know you too are soon to be tempered as you are mm, as you stare down upon the distant god. The defiler your brothers and sisters to, uh, died to defeat but could not, who now gluts on the Adra's spires, uh, striking plans against Madra. The iron chains that suspended the bridge beneath your feet drip blood and sweat, sweeping, and the moss spans below spattered with, uh, by the invader. The jagged keep now even more apt in name. He put a path to the spire and could not be stopped. He drank deeply from so many of you. Ah, okay, I was like, drank deeply? What? Oh, his souls. Okay. Uh, the Brenthis. Okay, uh, watch is beside you. She is fierce and will now, uh, oh, she will know what to do. She can hear Mogrin within the flames. Without further delay, she hastens you into the dragon's lair. She will call the beast and it will ride with you into the assault. Inside the cavern is dark and simmering. The uh, Benthus rushes ahead of you. Despite your bark, uh, your barked warning, something is wrong. The heat roils against your skin. A whisper of death, dangerous rather than comforting. The defiler god has riled the dragon. The Benthus has raised her torque. Uh, high as if to collar the dragon, the light of its, uh, it's sheening her helm in the darkness. She is thundering. The time has come. Jadas, uh, submit to Magran's will. The walls rumble, uh, walls rumble from a sudden earthquake. No, from the beast's lair. A shadow looms to your left, then scalding claws punch through your skin. Ugh, sings, uh, uh, sings fire from Barnes Courtney. <laughs> God. Rest now, warrior. Your soul is safe with me. Uh, Shodi bows her head as she drags her lantern over the corpse from her mm, head to foot and back up again. When she reaches the rhythm of punctured chest, its soul lifts up from the body and drifts toward the lantern. The shudder, it settles inside the copper cage. Okay, well, this is not sounding good. Apparently, we might be fighting a dragon here soon. Uh, hi! Let survive this long near the keep. We may be able to reason with it. A creature of smoke and scales, embers and talons looms up from the darkness. Her back and rib, mm, her back and ribs gleam luridly, red as the lake of fire that laps at her feet. She hisses, the sound like rocks grating together in her throat, and through her peeled back lips forms no words. You understand. Who comes now? To stoke the flames of chaos further. Have I not yet feasted enough? I suppose I can make room for another. No, no! <laughs> that can't be healthy. Just realized how lucky we are to have never run across a sewer dragon. <laughs> you will find this meal most difficult to eat, dragon. Uh, less like a dragon and more like a demented phoenix. I would actually kind of agree with you, but still, a dragon. Um. Oh, wait, I have no intent to fight An you. An easy meal 
is still a meal, is it not? The beast stretches her smoldering neck out as nah, she cuts. Squeal and scurry, or do not. I will suckle the marrow from your bones regardless soon enough. Uh, the Ruthen fail to honor your magnificence, but I offer my service with humility, O oh Great One. Do you now? And what need would one so ancient as I have for one so tender as you? Or perhaps you are a tough one, tougher than these Ruthun. Why did uh, the Ruthun uh, summon you during Aethys' invasion? We struck a deal. Eons ago, I did with a wily Brenthis. It's true, these Rathun fed me exquisitely for so long. But today, they sought my wings like a firestorm to battle, my fangs like hot spears to pierce a god. I am the heart of the fire. I cannot be controlled, not by a giant's weak will, and not by a sputtering trinket. The Rathun forged their deal when I was but a hatchling. Now no one controls me, and I would never fight a god for fools. One call to duty in centuries, and you are too cowardly to answer it. Pathetic. The dragon snorts smoke from her snout. I must reach Aethys in the depths of the Maw. Margrin would do anything to stop Aethys. If she erupts this volcano, he'll be destroyed along with it. Should I believe the wretched words of a trespasser in my den? Even were it so, the fire feeds me. It can cause me no harm. A stubborn creature, your obstinance would see you dead. Allow mine to see that you live. I suppose. This is so great when you have like a tw when you literally have a twenty resolve. <laughs> I slumbered for ages and felt restless for longer. It shall be good to stretch my wings. To hunt. I fly. With a great mm, a wave, she long, uh, slogs her body from the magma and takes to the sky. It's a saber. Plus 10 dam percent damage with sabers, uh, exceptional. A uh, storm blade deals plus 10 shock damage to target on critical hit. Plus 10 shock uh, damage as shock. Will begins plus 8 health on critical hit. Good God! And blood hone, 10% of hits converted to crits. Ah. <gasps> uh... Plus one perception, plus two stealth, five, plus five percent damage to mm, weapon attacks made from stealth, plus five accuracy to weapon attacks made from stealth, attacks made from stealth stun the target. That's the most foul, cruel, and bad tempered rodent you ever set in any mm, you ever set your eyes on? Yep. Agreed. This okay, this is uh this item's pretty good. And then you. Oh, absolutely nothing. Ah, rude. Let's talk to you real quick. Excuse me. All right, the closer you, mm, the closer you near the dimly lit mm, essence that smolders over the Ruthen's burnt corpse, the stronger you feel the soul's flickering confusion and grief. Uh, pry the torch from the priest's hand. Uh, this eternally, uh, eternally burning torque was forged by Magra and bestowed upon the Ruthen as a symbol of their submission to the goddess's will. This is a Ruthen word, roughly translating to ever flame. Reach the, read the soul. 
Rather than falling face forward into a vision of the Ruthen's final memory, her last thoughts scream through your mind in a jumble of distorted words. Is my favorite line from the Holy Grail? Yeah. I am burning, I am burning, I am burning, and it is not in pleasure, not for Mother Margaret. I should have listened when she said nothing, but I was willing to die to reach the ever flame, to sacrifice them and everything to ash, to vanquish the defiler. And I am burning, but not in the flame, not with honor and eternity, but for a moment. I am disgraced. Dig deeper. Who? Who will lay the talk before the mother to fire the way? Who is left? Who will guard the sacred spire, the mother's mind? Who will descend the shrine to the defiler's god's face? Not to these hands that are ashes sifting on a breath that is a last sigh of a wretchedly snuffed life. Not to me and mine. Now she who was blackened and befouled and forsaken by the flames, forsaken by Margaran! Rest easy now, Priestess. I'll harvest your soul and your torment, too. Ooh. Oh yeah, that saber? I'm gonna go ahead and enchant it real quick. It's exceptional. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put you up to superb. Because that's going to be like 30, so I'm not going to worry about that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that into Edder's inventory. Okay. Oh, it's Aethys. Hi, friend. I'll see to it. How old is this fortress? It is incredible that it even exists in this place. Ooh. Not scary. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to call it tomorrow, guys. Thank you guys for coming out to the stream. Hope you had yourselves a fan freaking time, guys. Holy cow. Okay. Huh. <sighs> I think we just got into some we got into some really interesting areas this is some real interesting areas okay but yeah guys wow that was fantastic um we definitely made some progress but uh oh, it's time for me to go to bed guys because i gotta get to work in the morning and, and also i gotta prep the videos to start uh transferring or are already transferred prep the videos to release starting at midnight and 15 minute segments so got a bit of work to do guys but thank you guys for coming out of the stream hope you had some fantastic time also if you are new to the channel hope you hope you enjoyed hello my name is zircon i'm an everyday variety streamer and if you enjoy what content you have watched go ahead and press that follow button it helps me out helps you out to let me know when i go live i will make a note that i am an everyday variety streamer but i'm currently taking off saturdays to play DD with friends and family I don't know how long that's gonna be uh, that's gonna take uh hopefully like maybe uh another couple months we'll see that, that really depends uh really depends but some days we may i may end up calling off to have special events on the stream well special as special as it can be for a very small baby streamer 
But also, if you are interested, I do have a YouTube channel that you can take a look at. It has a lot more content on there other than just POE right now. So if you wish to go ahead and see more content, head on over there and see what you like. Other than that, thank you guys. Hope you had yourselves a fantastic time. And as always, stay active and stay connected, chat. And I'll see you all next time at 7 p.m. Central Tanda time for more Pillars of Eternity 2. Zircon, signing out. Bye, y'all.